This conference will now be recorded. Okay. A very good evening to everyone. <clears throat> so let's start the class. So yesterday we started with uh, Eclipse. So we got some problem. So we could not uh, uh, complete that Eclipse class because of a signal problem. Okay. So today, so we will continue that Eclipse ID. So how to use Eclipse ID for developing and uh, executing Java programs. Okay. No? So let me just share my screen. so in last class so we have seen how to do the Java eclipse installation also okay so if you want to start eclipse so it will come in uh, this uh, program files so you can click on that icon So it will ask for the workspace as we discussed yesterday workspace is nothing but a folder So once we create uh, any files on Eclipse in Eclipse, so there will be uh, One folder in which folder all the uh, files that we create in Eclipse it will be saved Okay, so that folder we have to give that name so that name we call it as a workspace So we can take this uh, default workspace Okay as it is or else if you want to select uh, our own folder our own workspace that is also possible Okay, no? so let us select the default workspace and click on launch button Okay, Eclipse is starting. All right. Okay, so once we start eclipse so here we can see so many options here okay so the first step what we have to do in eclipse is so we have to create a project so yesterday also we have discussed right how to create a project i new okay then click on java project select java project so give some project name any project name we can give okay then click on next button then accept the default op options as it is and click on finish button that's it so when you click on finish so uh, when you click on finish button so left side our project will come okay so I'm doing a cancel here why because yesterday we have already created one project by name SP global isn't it so as you can see this is a project that we created yesterday okay so now if you want to create a class okay so yesterday we discussed right on src folder so right click click on new then click on java class then give the class name okay Okay, then if you want the main method also so you can ch check this uh, so We can select this checkbox and click on finish button Okay, so Java class will be created. So yesterday we already created this Java class, right? Yeah So then yesterday we saw so in this Java class we will write our code Okay, then uh, we will execute so how to execute so we have to do a right click 
then click on run as select java application then java program will be executed and we can see the output in the below in the console and uh, we have seen yesterday also uh, we have seen yesterday how to pass the arguments okay to this main method okay so how to pass do i right click again run as click on run configuration then here arguments tab okay so here we can pass the values how many values we want to pass so we can type it here so hyderabad bangalore one two how many values we want to pass we can pass here click on apply and run that's it so those values it will be assigned to this array and we can print those values in the eclipse so we can see the output below okay no? so this is what we discussed till yesterday isn't it then we have discussed about how to add comments also isn't it so we started with this point so if you want to add comments so first we have to select the text okay then we have to go to source then click on add toggle comment so when we click on toggle comment that particular line it will be commented so comment means we know it will not be compiled and it will not be executed but it will be there in the program okay and if you want to add multi-line comments okay so we can select that entire code then click on source then add block comment this is called as multi-line comment or block comments this entire code will be commented okay no? so this time okay so what we want to do is so we want to add some conditional statements like if if else those things so if you want to add those conditional statements so you can go to source okay then surround with option so go to surround with option okay here you can see if statement so whichever option we want we can just select okay so click on if so automatically this if condition if statement will come so we have to write our condition whichever condition we want we can write it okay so like this all many options are there we have to just select those options automatically the code will be written okay no? so it's very easy to write the code isn't it so that's the reason eclipse is actually very famous by and it is used in many companies and this time suppose we want to add some looping statements okay again go to click on source surround with so here you can see so looping statements which looping statement we want while do while for loop whichever we want we can just select automatically for loop will come and we can write the conditions everything accordingly that's it okay then not only looping statements and conditional statements so suppose we want to add the code related to exception handling okay so again go to source surround with again exception handling code we can put try catch one try multi catch mini catch try and finally all these options are there so if we click on one try multi catch so one try block many catch blocks will be coming okay so we just have to go here and select that option entire code will come automatically okay and um, <clears throat> so we have exception handling while do while yeah so these are the main options that we have in okay source uh, source menu okay then if you go to refactor so here we have option to rename suppose we want to rename the file class file or anything so we just can click on rename okay so we can give that particular uh, okay so click on rename so whichever file we want to rename we can just go and change it accordingly new name okay so if you want to rename a project file whatever we want to we can rename it then apart from that so this is searching file and all those things okay and yesterday we discussed about how to create interfaces and how to create packages also 
right so packages if you want to create a package so click on this src folder again do a right click click on new okay so this time we have to select package okay so give the package name whichever package name we want so let us give let us give hyd click on finish so you can see left side package is created okay <clears throat> suppose we want to put our java class in package simply drag and drop like this so our class will come in this package okay as you can see this code also written automatically package hyd on the top okay simply drag and drop drag from here drop here that's it so in this package these classes will come automatically and if you open this class on the top code also will come okay then suppose we want to create interfaces okay again same on src folder do i right click go to new so this time we have to select interface option okay then give the interface name whatever interface name we want to give we can give and click on finish then interface will come automatically in this whatever methods we want to write we can write it okay no? So these are the few important options so that we have in Eclipse and uh, project. Okay. So for as of now, this properties option is not required in project. So when we go for advanced Java classes, we have to add some jar files. So at that time we will see. Okay. So what is the use of this uh, uh, properties option? Okay. In project. Okay, so when we discuss advanced Java classes, there we will see how to use this uh, properties option in project. Okay, then run option we know to run the programs. So yeah, that's it. So these are the important options that we have in Eclipse. Okay, now.